Well, hello everyone. It is Larry from Crash Test Gamers, and I wanted to show you something today. This is a community-made map for Counter-Strike Go um, called Training underscore Aim underscore CSGO 2. And this is something I found um, when I was playing Overwatch on a really consistent basis uh, a couple months ago, um, back when I wanted to be pro and, and make all the big bucks. I'm just kidding about the going pro part, but what we have here is a an aim trainer, kind of like the things you'd find in Flash, and this is going to really help you out if you're someone who's looking to improve your aim in first-person shooters. So let's take a look. Um, you've got your menu right over here, and you select stuff by shooting it, of course. That's how you should. Uh, and let's just start right away with the original, kind of the... Uh, the original recipe here, we're going to stay here on level 1, but I will show you that uh, you can increase your range. Ooh, we're at level 2. Ooh, we're at level 3. Ooh, we're at level 4. Now we're really far away, but that sucks. Let's go back. All right, so let's pull out our pistol here, and let's do some classic aim training. Okay, basically it's just, oh, dot appears, you shoot it. Dot appears, you miss it. Dot appears, you shoot it. Dot appears, you shoot it. Okay, pretty simple stuff. I uh, missed. I am rusty here. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so you get the idea. And that's just your classic aim training mode. You do that enough. I mean, trust me, I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while, but you do get quick at this if you if you played enough. And it's a lot of fun. You get you get a lot quicker. Um, this is probably the most interesting thing uh, in the whole thing, and that is angles and sliding. And the idea here is um, for you to use these angles and move in straight lines rather than whoa like a lot of people do. So let's give that a shot. <clears throat> And uh, basically, you just hit the center, and then whatever lights up. So let's try it. Whoops. Okay. So you get the idea on that. This is probably my favorite, this little... Uh, this little grid is actually pretty helpful, and I've actually found that uh, I, I'm moving this way a little bit more when playing first-person shooters rather than the whole, like, you know, I'm freaking out. Where are you? Whoa. You know, it helps. Uh, reflex training. This doesn't really work. Um, I've got it set to the, the highest amount of time you can have it set to. Eh, I fail, no matter what. Okay, so some might say maybe that has to do with latency with my monitor. Could be. I don't know. Okay, so burst training. What is burst training for? This would be for using a gun like the AK-47 and trying to improve your accuracy while burst firing. Could be very helpful, depending on the game you're playing. Of course, this is all going to be a little bit more helpful if you're playing Counter-Strike Go, but if you're not, I still think it helps, and in fact, I do think it helped me with Overwatch. Intensive, fast aim training. <clears throat> Ooh, it's intensive. Let's try. Oh, oh, so intensive. This is really intensive, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm so It's so intense. So, yeah, the idea there is that multiple targets are appearing and you're shooting them all at once because you're just that good, like you're in the Matrix. Uh, anyway, guys, that is, once again, training underscore aim underscore CSGO2. If I didn't mention it already, it is free. Uh, so try it out, Steam Workshop. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope this helps you with your aim. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace. See you on the next one.